happy to have on the phone line with me the new commissioner of West Virginia Department of Agriculture, Kent Leonhardt. Thank you for taking the time to call in this morning. Oh, it's my pleasure. Glad to be here. All right. First of all, uh, what's your background, uh, Mr. Leonhardt, and why did you uh, want to run for commissioner of agriculture in the first place? I'm a retired Marine Lieutenant Colonel. I spent 21 years in the Marine Corps as a intelligence officer, and I retired in 96, and then I took over an abandoned West Virginia farm that I had bought while I was still on active duty as a young captain, and uh, my wife and I restored that farm, and we grew it, and we ended up with uh, 380 acres and five additional leases, and back in 2012, people might remember, I was asked to, somebody was running for Commissioner of Agriculture on the Republican ticket, uh, he dropped out at the last minute, and I was asked to uh, fill that uh, slot on the ballot. I, uh, I came close. I didn't quite uh, make it at that time. Since I came so close, I was asked to run for the state senate up in District 2, which is all a part of nine counties in the uh, north central, the northwest part of the uh, state. And I won that race. And I was again asked to run for Commissioner of Agriculture again. And since that was my original start in politics, uh, truly was the running for Commissioner of Agriculture and my passion for agriculture and seeing a need in the state for uh, changing the way we think about agriculture. Uh, we have to protect our old uh, ways of doing things, but we also have to embrace the new technologies and get agriculture back on track in the state. So I made the decision to run and so far, I'm glad I did. Okay. I know that this has been a very busy week for not only you, but the Department of Agriculture, because uh, yesterday at the Capitol was Ag Day. Today is Local Foods and Farm Day, and it's also a National FFA Week. So can you describe what your week's been like? Well, it's been very busy. We've had a lot of uh, media events, obviously. Uh, yesterday, we I got to tour all the uh, different uh, farms, some farm displays, like women in, women in agriculture, West Virginia Agri Women was uh, displaying. A lot of my uh, parts of the Department of Agriculture were displaying. We talked to a lot of legislators. And then I had the privilege of going to uh, view an FFA program at Putnam County High School. And what a tremendous program. They've been in uh, business about five years uh, teaching uh, agriculture in the school. They've won numerous awards. It's really, really, I was very very impressed. I was able to do that with the new state school board president, Tom Campbell, and he was impressed as well. We decided we'd work together on trying to improve agriculture in the schools throughout the state of West Virginia. So that was a good day. And then last night, we were invited by the uh, Farmers Co-op, West Virginia Farmers Farm Market uh, Coalition, I should say. Okay. And we, uh, we had a very nice dinner at the Bluegrass Cafe in Charleston, highlighting uh, how restaurants are using local food. Uh, they got to present some of their legislative issues to the to the legislators that, that attend the dinner. And later on today, I'm going to meet with the uh, National Park Service and uh, go visit the National Boy Cat Scout Center. And obviously, we're talking about uh, growing uh, local food and consumption here in the state of West Virginia. Nowadays, farmers markets, farm to table, even growing farm or growing farm items, vegetables, I guess, uh, if you will, at schools are all popular uh, nowadays. Now, how would you like to market local growers and producers to West Virginians? Well, uh, well, that's what we're working on. There's so many great people out there uh, trying so many different initiatives. What I want to do is I want to bring them all to the table. I want to hear what their successes and failures would be and share the stories from one area to the next within the state. Because when you're growing local foods and you're doing uh, local food aggregation, uh, you're not competing with other areas of the state. Uh, you know, those people doing the work up in the Martinsburg area are not competing with Wayne County uh, initiatives because it's all coming from a certain radius within the state. So there's really, the market is wide open. They're not going to compete with each other. It's a great time to share ideas. Grow Ohio Valley is doing a prescription-based, what they call a CSA, the uh, yeah, Community Supported Agriculture okay. Initiative. Uh, and they're doing a prescription-based. And they had 30 people in the program last year, and everyone had health improvements when they're talking about their, their diabetes indexes or their uh, blood pressure, all based on di diet and eating uh, fresh local fruits and vegetables. So that's a great pilot program. We're going to start looking, expand it, uh, having more, getting more statistical analysis of the results. And that's something we're going to look at trying to expand throughout the state as well. So the field
fields wide open. We can help. We can help our local farmers. We can expand agriculture. And what I really like about it too is when you think about the downstream health improvements that we can make in West Virginia. That will save us an awful lot of money uh, in our state budget as well if we can improve our the health of our citizens. That is very true, sir. Now, speaking of the budget, of course, the budget is big news in Charleston. Now, how can you, I guess, streamline services of the West Virginia Department of Agriculture and still provide quality programs and services to West Virginia farmers? Well, we're just taking a, a close look at the budget. We're, uh, I believe that uh, there's some efficiencies that we can uh, find within the Department of Agriculture. Uh, we're realigning uh, some things. We're not adding uh, any uh, additional staff, but we're re- realigning things. Uh, we have a couple spots that are open, but we're going to be hiring uh, an agricultural business development office. And within that office uh, directorate, we'll have a development side, a marketing side, and a veterans to agriculture. Uh, those are all going to work together to uh, grow agriculture in the state of West Virginia. And as we grow agriculture, obviously, uh, that's increasing businesses, and that increases uh, income to the state uh, revenue. Well, I believe that we can, with some realignment in the way we do business, and it's all within the uh, statutory and constitutional responsibilities of the office, uh, we can help improve the state's budget. All right. Uh, Commissioner Leon Hart, we only have a couple minutes left here, so uh, coming on to the program, was there anything that you really wanted to get out to our listeners that maybe we really haven't touched on or emphasized enough? Yeah, no, thank you very much for that. I'm trying to change the narrative. Everybody's familiar with STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Mm-hmm. Uh, in our education system. I want to change STEM to STEAM, and I want to add A for agriculture. I mean, we do all eat every day, uh, which makes agriculture a very important part of our everyday life. And we also have to increase the awareness within our schools of the importance of agriculture and that there are careers in agriculture. The FFA program is starting to gather more and more students that are not actual coming from farms, but they're coming from uh, towns and cities uh, coming into the program off the farm. And if the students there never even go into agriculture later on, at least they're leaving the high school system as, uh, as an informed consumer. And that is very, very important uh, to get the word out about how important agriculture is, people to know where their food comes from. And, you know, we always said, know your farmer, know your food. All right. Well, Commissioner Lean Hart, I'm sure you'll be down here for the state fair. And uh, while you're down here, I invite you to stop on over here to the studios and come on in and Grab a cup of coffee and come on again. That'd be great. I look forward to doing that. Thanks so much. You're most welcome.